What is the easiest and quickest way that I know to create a book cover? Take a look at this video and I'll show you how. Hello Home Bosses, my name is Nuria Corby. Welcome to my channel which is all about helping you to make money online. And if that sounds interesting to you, click the subscribe button, press the notification bell so you can receive more videos like this. So in today's video, I'm just going to very quickly show you how you can create a really easy and beautiful book cover and it's all done in Canva. And I think you can even use the Canva free version for this. So if you've been watching my videos, you know that I do everything on Canva and that is because it's so easy and it's especially great for beginners because there's no real learning curve. Everything you do on Canva is quite intuitive. So today I want to show you how to make a really easy, quick cover for a book. And I didn't know, but Canva actually has book cover templates. So let's just type in book cover. And here you go. You've got lots and lots of really nice book cover templates. The important thing is to realize that if you're going to take a cover like this, there will be more than one book with that cover because we if we all start to just take the templates as they are, then we will all end up with the same kind of books. So never use a template that you haven't changed a little bit, but it's so easy to do. And I'll just take one of them so you can see how to do it. Let's have a look at this first one. I quite like the look of this. Now, obviously, when we create our covers for KDP, we create the front and back cover together. So what I do when I use these templates is that I make the front cover first. So for example, this is a great, a great image to use. Um, but I do want to change this completely so that it's not exactly the same. But what's good about these templates is that a designer has created these and knows that they look good as thumbnails and as book covers when they're presented online because the thumbnail of the book cover is the first thing a customer sees on Amazon. This is not like going into a bookshop where you see real books. You can look at them up close. When you shop for a book on Amazon, all you can see is the little thumbnail. So think about your customers when they're browsing through Amazon. The books that are really standing out as a thumbnail, they are the ones that people will buy. So think about it from this point of view. All of these covers that have been designed on Canva have been designed with that in mind. They've designed them um, because they know what the customer is looking for. They know what works with book covers. So it's a good idea to use the exact same template, but obviously you have to change it so that it's not the exact same design. We don't all want to end up with the same book covers, but the template can provide the structure for your cover. But what I mean by using the same template is that the layout is optimized for your customers. So let's start to change this one. Now, obviously, we will put our own book title in here. So let's say we've got a 2021 planner. So we could type in 2021 planner. So I've typed in 2021 planner for busy mums. And let's make this a little bit smaller so that it fits in there nicely. And I'm going to leave the author name where it is as well. So let's call this Ellie Smith. I made a video about author names and I think that at the moment Amazon are really cracking down on author names or pen names that have keywords in them. And they're also doing that to names or pen names that don't sound like real people. So I have decided that going forward, I'm going to make my pen names sound like real people because at the end of the day, it doesn't matter to me if I have a keyword in there or not. I can put the keywords in the title, which is where they belong and not in the pen name. And that's how I'm going to do it from now on because I feel at the moment that that is the safest way and it's totally in line with Amazon's 
terms of service. So it's important to read those because from the type of questions that I sometimes get in my Facebook group, I feel that I don't think many people have read Amazon's terms and it's so important to know what not to do because otherwise you're going to put your account at risk. So make sure that you read Amazon's terms, what you are allowed to do and what you're not allowed to do and then try and stick to that as much as you possibly can. <laughs> Actually just stick to them because that is the safest way. You don't want to have your account suspended or, or even banned. So I'm going to use um, pen names that sound like people and obviously if you've already created a brand and it's a brand name then it's very difficult to change that now so that's fine but I'm talking about the pen names that I'm creating from now going forward. So we're going to call this 2021 Planner for Busy Moms by Ellie Smith and now we're going to change the the cover design. So I can see that what they've done here is they've used different um, sort of parts to this like leaves. If I take this away you can see what they've done. So I could do that myself. I can go on to elements on Canva and just type in leaves and here we go. We can choose some of these. Obviously if you haven't got the pro version of Canva then hover over each design and if it says pro then you can't use it but if like this one it says free you can absolutely use this on your book cover without any problems so let's try what this will look like in a very light color I quite like this and I'm going to turn this around kind of to make it similar to the cover that we had to start with so I think more or less it's like that and then what I do is I duplicate this and then I flip it to make it uh, look a bit better so and then I'm going to repeat that a few times I'll just quickly do that and come back to the video when I'm done so I've done this four times now and I'm just going to change the color of the font to the same color as the leaves so I use this pink color I just like to keep everything uh, sort of matching and now I'm going to change the background color and I think I'll make this a little bit brighter maybe this really uh, bright pink but then I also have to change the color of this um, round sphere of the circle let's have a look if I can get to it there we are I think this is it so Let's change this. It's got a gradient. You can see it's got three colors in it because it's got a shade here. So this is this dark color is what's giving this this shaded color. So I'm just going to change the two colors here. So I'm going to make one of them like that. Or maybe I'll make this one the light color. You can see already how quickly that has changed. I'll make this one a little bit darker maybe the blue makes it look like a purple. You can play with this and find the color that you like best. I'm trying to get it to match this red and it's not quite right. Let's see what else I can do. I've made it this color now and I'm also going to get rid of these blue leaves because they're too they're still too similar to the to the initial um, template so we want to completely change it we want to keep the same layout but we want to change the designs as much as possible so let's have a look and see if we can find another leaf that might go here this one is a pro leaf which I can use I have the pro version but if you can't use it if you haven't got the pro version and you're using the free version we really need to find some more free leaves let's have a look at this one let's try and see what this one looks like maybe we'll change the color and we'll choose a color that matches this let's take a purple for example i'm going to repeat that there i'm not sure if i like it um let's see what else i can do a lot of this is just trying different things 
and just trying different designs, different colors. And once you're happy with it, I, I would also say don't overthink it too much. Um, let's see, I'm going to use, let's see if I can type in flowers and if there's anything better. This one is free. This is quite nice. I quite like this one. Let's try this one. So that's looking a little bit better now. So I'm going to go back to the leaves and actually I'm just going to filter it to the free ones. So let's see if I can find one I like. That's a little bit too bright. So maybe this one. This one's a little bit better. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that to the back. It's a little bit better and I'll put another one up here somewhere. I'll put that to the back as well. And I'll do the same on the other side. I'm just giving it a little bit of space so that it's not so close to the text. And I think this is about right. So now we've got a really bright cover, front cover for our book. And I think this looks pretty good. I'm sure with more time, if you want to spend more time on it, you can do an even nicer color. I would maybe change the background color a little bit. So you can play with this and create your, your own cover. But see how quickly I did this. It was really, really quick when you think about it. You can download this as a JPEG. So I'm going to do that quickly. And once I've downloaded it, I upload it onto Canva and and then what I do is I create my my book interior and once I know how many pages I have and what the size is so for example let's say I want to make the planner 8.5 by 11 so I go to tangent templates tangent templates have had a redesign and it looks absolutely amazing plus they're adding new stuff all the time so it's, it was my favorite tool already and now it's even better than my favorite tool. <laughs> so it's, it's fantastic. I really, I can honestly recommend Tangent Templates. It is a paid tool, but it saved me so much time and I just really love it. So what I want to do now is I just want to calculate my book cover. So we want to go on KDP Helper. I'm going to select my trim size. So we decided we want to make our book 8.5 by 11. Um, imagine that your planner has got 120 pages and we selecting the paper type in this case it's white i usually go for white rather than cream or color and we're going to create an interior with bleed and the reason i'm selecting bleed is because my design in the interior is going to go to the edge of the paper if you're creating a book interior where the design doesn't go to the edge of the paper and you leave a good margin then you can select no bleed. But in this case, let's imagine I'm making a book with a design that goes all the, all the way right to the edges of the paper. So we're going to select bleed and then I press continue. And now it's given us all the details that we need to create our cover. So we're here on cover. If you wanted to make the interior, you can click on interior and it gives you all the, all the measurements that you need for that. But at the moment, we're just interested in the cover. So we click on that or it's already selected and we scroll down until we find Canva. And for print ready PDF covers, we use inches. And here we are. Those are the measurements that we need. If you want to create a half cover, um, which you use for the KDP cover creator, and I've never done that before. But if that's what you want to do, you can do that as well. Or if you're using Keynote, PowerPoint, InDesign, you get all the measurements that you need for each tool that you're using. So we're creating in Canva. So we're going to go with this measurement, which is 17.52 inches by 11.25. So let's go back onto Canva. So we want to create a new design and put in our custom dimensions. Remember to put in inches. So now we put in our measurements, which was 17.52 by 11.25 
and then we click create new design so now you have the correct size for your front and your back cover and what you can do now is to click on your design now as you can see this design doesn't really fit exactly half of this book so it's going to look slightly different because what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to let it have a border around it and you can do it this way you can either use the same background color as you have in your book and you can do that by going on to the canva color picker so this is really handy because it picks out exactly the colors that you have in your image so now I know that this red here or this pink here is the exact color of the background of my book so I can either use that and have it like this and then the other thing I can do is I can go back on tangent templates and I can download the print ready cover template because this will really help me I'll just show you quickly I'll click download and I've downloaded it now and then I go onto Canva and I upload it onto Canva and now I can click on this and use this as a template for my book so I know exactly where the front cover and the back cover are so I place it all over the book so I can see that roughly I've got it in the middle but I would just move this a little bit oops let's put this to the back so I would put this slightly more like this so try and center it as much as you can and then the other thing I do is I write a description of the book and put that on the back cover sometimes I also put images of the interior on the back cover and that is because if people are looking at your books on their mobile on their cell phone they don't really see the look inside feature the look inside feature only works on desktops or laptops and um, doesn't work on mobile phones so it's a good idea to put some images that show the interior of your book on the back cover so that's what I normally do I put something on the back as well as on the front and I try and center it all you know where Amazon's barcode is going to go so leave this section here uncovered and you can do it like this or you could even use let me just take that away you could even use a different background color and I always try and match one of the colors that is on the on the cover as well so we could make it the purple and if I take the template now let's have a look I'll just quickly show you you can see how that would look it would just make it like the cover is in a frame or it has like two um, stripes either side I'm not sure if I like it so much I think I prefer to make it the same color as the background because the dimensions of this cover are longer than wide if you know what I mean this isn't a really good size if you're making a 6x9 book cover so on the 8.5 by 11 cover it you know there's this is a way around it where you just either stretch it as much as you can you could even stretch it a whole lot and make it fit the whole of the front cover so if I pull this up a little bit you can tell where the middle is because the line will change I don't know if you can see that um, let me see if I can if I can show you so Canva usually changes the color of this line when you get to the middle if I can't see it very well so what I'll do is I use my template and I put that back on here and then I find the middle of the book so there it is um, I can leave the spine with this color with the back color so this is how my front cover would look like now so I think that's still pretty good and what I can do now is I take this template away uh, and then once I've got my back cover sorted out then I can download it as a PDF print I always download them as PDF prints because they're higher quality so you've got the 300 DPI that Amazon needs for their cover images and that is how I would make a really easy um, cover for books with the Canva templates for book covers and 
there are different ways that you can do this, obviously, but I just think it's so easy to use the templates. It creates really good looking book covers, in my opinion, and they're already optimized to catch people's eye. So I really recommend that you use it. But as I said, try and change your cover as much as you can. So this cover is completely different to the one we started with. And I'll just show you quickly so you can see the difference. So this is the one that we chose and in the beginning. So you can see we have changed it quite a lot. And like I said, I mean, you can play with the colors, make this a little bit better. I just made it very, very quickly to show you. But you can take your time and create some really good covers but change everything that you can possibly change. I've just noticed that we could have changed the font as well, which we didn't do. So I would make sure that I change the font as well and use a different font. And you can use all different kinds of elements. Doesn't have to be leaves, doesn't have to be flowers. It could be something different. So there's no end to your imagination and you can make a really good book cover but with the same structure and the same overall design that really stands out when people browse your books on Amazon. So let me know what you think. Would you create a book cover like this? And have you done something like this before? And if you've got any questions, put them below the video in the comments. So all that remains to be said is thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again in my next video. Bye bye.